On topping your latest Newsmax Now update, President Obama says health care workers treating Ebola patients abroad and at home deserve to be treated with respect and gratitude. And it's because of the determination and skill and dedication and patriotism of folks like this that I'm confident we will contain and ultimately snuff out this outbreak of Ebola. But the president admits Americans may still see some cases of Ebola here at home. Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel announces new Ebola guidelines for all military personnel returning from West Africa. What I uh, signed this morning was a memorandum to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff in response to the memorandum uh, of recommendation I received from the chairman and the chiefs. And the defense secretary says he wants a detailed report on the effectiveness of the quarantine. He will review the new policy again after 45 days. Over now in the Middle East, ISIS ups the level of brutality yet again. Islamic State militants shot about 30 men, tribal fighters, allied with the Iraqi government, execution style, today in broad daylight. We blurred out the images due to their very graphic nature. The shootings happened just west of Baghdad. Mideast analysts say ISIS militants and the Al-Qaeda-inspired group Al-Nusra may be working together to inspire Sunni militants in Lebanon, fighting increase there earlier this week, claiming the lives of 10 civilians and 12 Lebanese soldiers. Well, back here at home, the Department of Homeland Security increases patrols at federal buildings. The department says there's no specific threat. It's just doing it as a precautionary um, move amid continuing terrorist chatter and last week's terror attacks in Canada. Houston's mayor withdraws subpoenas of sermons belonging to five pastors in that city. The decision comes after pastors from all over the country shows support for local congregations, citing a violation of First Amendment rights. The mayor says her office just wanted to protect the Equal Rights Ordinance from repeal. And now Google works on a cancer pill. The company's research lab says a new pill will be able to detect cancer, and researchers say it may also help find other problems such as heart disease. And now Pope Francis says he's on board with science. The pontiff declares that evolution and the Big Bang Theory are compatible with the existence of God. The Pope says God created and let evolution take over. That was your latest Newsmax Now update.